What I'm most proud of of our work at Columbia Legal Services is the way that we've shifted to a racial justice focus that works relationally with our community partners so that we're led by our community partners. They know what the solutions are. And we believe if we are working with communities that we can create human rights and opportunity for everyone through collective power, through collective decision-making. Working at Columbia Legal Services, it's a practice in being comfortable in the uncomfortable. I've gotten to challenge myself. It's not just legal issues, it's families, it's people's real lives, and community engagement is a foundational cornerstone to all of this so that people can start imagining justice for themselves and that builds into either policy change or litigation strategies and you can continue to impact people's lives. By taking collective action, by filing class action lawsuits, we can fight for humane conditions in our prisons. We can fight for release of prisoners. We can fight for fairness of prosecutors. We get to sue powerful agricultural forces in our state. Everything we do is done with advancing our mission to ending mass incarceration and promoting immigrant equity around Washington state. 99% of farm workers in Washington state are Mexican or of Central American descent. They have to endure a lot of abuses in order to keep their jobs. We currently have two cases in federal court challenging abuses of H-2A workers because keeping strong wages for our local community is critical. Our team has been involved in supporting the organizing efforts of workers in the Yakima Valley. Many lessons were learned and have created new leaders, particularly women leaders, and are now doing other great things in the community. Advocates are working with communities to learn from those communities about where injustice continues to happen. In the minute that COVID started to hit our prison, our advocates, our attorneys, started to think about what we could do. The prisons immediately became real vectors for mass spread. What we were hearing from community members was, we need to keep our loved ones who are in custody as safe as possible, and the prisons are just not equipped to do that. And we filed our first ever writ of mandamus. While we were not successful at the Supreme Court level, Governor Inslee did order the release of, I believe, about 1,100 individuals there was still a need to do more. We were successful in ensuring that anyone in custody who wanted access to the vaccines were ultimately able to get them. When we think about the walls that separate us from people who are in prison and how every day can we break those walls down? How can we connect with folks who have been physically removed and put in cages? And how can we retain our own humanity by recognizing their humanity? That's what makes us a community, is that everyone in our community belongs in some way. We get to build these incredible relationships for the long term. We created and hosted this space that we call a community convening. CLS have never done an event like this before. Community members were asking for a space like this. So we invited different organizations to come and share the resources throughout the Yakima Valley that are actively working on immigration reform, workers' rights, sexual harassment in the workplace. It was just like a really great way to start building trust with the community. The gift and the secret at CLS is you get to just meet so many amazing people, not only our own colleagues who are experts in so many things and willing to dive into new unexplored areas of the law and push the law in different ways. There aren't standardized court forms for the kind of work that we're doing. A lot of the time we're making it up as we go, we're trying to be creative problem solvers. We're working alongside our colleagues, our partners, our clients, most importantly, we're working alongside our communities. When we lose, we have learned from community that that is not a loss. It's a relationship that we built and it's a stair that we stand on as we move forward together in this vision for justice. We have to have a bold vision of justice. And we can't do this alone. We need you to imagine justice with us.